What is going on everybody? Tech enthusiast here and in this video I'm going to show you the ROM called Evolution X. Now firstly this is using the Pixel Launcher by default. So on the left we've got the news feed. Now coming back out of that on the right these are where all the apps are going to be installed. Swiping up is your uh, app drawer and I've also installed quite a few apps so there are minimal uh, pre-installed apps and Magisk also comes pre-installed so those of you who do banking you might find issues with that but you can also uninstall Magisk with the un uninstaller zip. Now uh, let's look at another app here so this I believe is their wallpaper app and it does quite have a few decent wallpapers now I'm not going to go through all of them, but uh, let's see, Spaceman, I think this is like a retro look, but yeah, um, you can have a look at that later by installing this ROM, uh, favorites, I've not added anything here, so let's come out of that and let's go on to the wallpapers installed here. So we're not going to have any live wallpapers, for example the pixel wallpapers that you'd have to install from the Play Store. Let's have a look at the um, quick settings. So um, one thing I want to show you here is screen record. So if you just tap on it, it will toggle between the quality. So 480p, 720p and it's got 720p plus meaning 1080p. Now if you long press here it will start recording the screen and as far as I'm aware, aware it does not record the audio so let's just stop that and uh, we can delete that from here and continue another thing we have here is expanded mode so we can hide the navigation bar and the status bar so right now it's default now if you're going to expand it I believe yep if we swipe down or Swipe up from here, you can see your navigation bar and the status bar. We've also got hide status bar, so we'll hide the status bar. Hide navigation bar, we'll hide that and click on it again and it comes back to default. Let's see what else we've got here. Now in terms of customization, it gives you a few more options compared to the Pixel Experience ROM. So we have things like a compass here. These are the additional ones, uh, one-handed mode, gaming mode. Some of these I will try to cover later on in the video. Okay, let's come out of here and dive into settings. So those of you who have not watched my videos, this is the Chinese model and I have, well, this phone has NFC enabled. Those with the Indian variant, you don't have NFC. I'm not sure about the Mi 90 Pro, do let me know in the comment section. So let's scroll down. Most of it, it is pretty much what you'll see on other ROMs. And then we have Evolution Extras. So this is what we'll say apart from the other ROMs out there. So let's go into Status Bar. So we've got Disabled Unlock. Corners. Now this phone, as far as I'm aware, has got rounded corners. So uh, let's try and change the values. As you can see, the rounded corners change let's drag it back so corner uh, corner content padding so this I believe is for the time and the uh, battery percentage and if I oops okay here we go as you can see they are moving to the opposite ends so I'll just leave it back on five system icons I'm sure you know how that works it just hides the um, system icons on the status bar Status bar logo, okay, so this is a bit weird. You can have a logo on the status bar. There's quite a few in here. Um, I guess it's just having it for the sake of it. Uh, what else do we have? Let's see what sticks out. Okay, we've got Pac-Man. I mean, it would have been interesting if it was some kind of animation, but to be honest, I don't see what's the point. So... Uh, Clippy, that's the dude from the old Microsoft Word. Okay, so let's just disable that. 
So Bluetooth battery status, I don't remember seeing that on other ROMs. So basically if you connect say maybe a control pad by Bluetooth, it should tell you the battery percentage, which is kind of cool if it works. Um, let's see, we got use all mobile signal. It's probably gonna change the um, icon. Carrier label. So we can uh, change that. Let's not go into that right now. Battery style. So right now it's on Q style. We can have circle. You can also have it hidden. Those of you who don't want to see your uh, battery percentage. Um, let's go back to say the default for now. Battery percentage next to the icon. We can have it inside the icon. Notification ticker. Let's come out here and have a look at notifications. So notifications are enabled. We've also got snooze timer, stop list, blacklist. There's quite a few things to go through. So I'm just going to skip some of this to speed up the video. Okay, so let's come out of there and quick settings. Okay, so quick setting, uh, quick tile, quick setting tile style. So right now it's default. Um, I believe it is for these settings here. So let's try. Um, what's this ninja? Oh, here we go. It's changed. There's quite a lot to go through. Okay, we got oxygen OS. Let's see how that looks. I'm not sure if that's changed. Very minimal. Uh, brightness slider. So we can have the brightness slider on the bottom. Yep, it's probably more useful if you want to quickly toggle the brightness. And again, we're seeing that same option here. I'm not sure why. Okay, so we've got gestures, AOSP gestures. Not as good as the OnePlus gestures, by the way. Let's go into lock screen now. Obviously, we can add shortcuts to the lock screen so we can have camera or a few bunch of apps, as you can see here. Then we've got... Um, for, for the music player to show onto the lock screen as well, a few options here. Again, you can hide the status bar. There's a lot going on here. This ROM is, in terms of customization, is probably, as far as I have tested, come second after Havoc OS. Okay, so let's go into navigation, and our navigation bar. Okay, if you disable it, I understand you can disable that, but on OnePlus, you know, it gave you the option to flick it up and press that dot here so you can enable it again. It would have been cool to see that implemented in other ROMs. So we've got one-handed mode, so I'll see if I can get that running. Okay, here we go. So one-handed mode. For those of you who find the phone too big, you can actually have one-handed mode. And if you want to come out of there, well, let me just show you, everything works fine. But if you want to come out of here, you just press on the black area and it comes back to normal. So next is hardware buttons. Power button, long press for the torch to be enabled. Volume. Okay, and lastly, we're on miscellaneous, so gaming mode if we enable gaming mode so we block notifications disables bar brightness and a bunch of other stuff and obviously you can add in your games from here so i've got citra and wake on plug usb configuration so when you plug in a usb cable you can set it to go to file transfer straight away or leave it as no data transfer And this looks like some advanced settings, nothing that I'm really going to play around with, as you can see.
Okay, so let's just check out the fingerprint unlocking. It's okay. It's not as good as a MIUI stock ROM. But yeah, as you can see, it is fairly decent. So now this ROM, I am using it as a daily. Battery life is quite good. Um, not noticing any heavy drains, no lags at all. And it is a ROM that I do recommend you to use. However, I haven't noticed it being updated as of recent. So I will be moving on to a different ROM. So that wraps up for this overview video. If you have enjoyed it, then give it a thumbs up. If it is your first time here, then please do consider subscribing as I have more videos coming up. I will also cover other ROMs such as Resurrection Remix, Siberia ROM, Bootleggers, as well as any other ROMs. So make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as I release those videos. Please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And like always, thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.